Ladies and gentlemen, we are still here in Poland, Warsaw. The BFN Group presents It's Showtime edition number 50. The very, very exclusive VIP edition. And now, ladies and gentlemen, before we go on to the last fight of the night, don't forget to download our free application for your smartphone, the It's Showtime app. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the heavyweights. And the first fighter making his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, Representing Turkey, please welcome Erhan Deniz. It is main event time, and it's show time from Warsaw, Poland. The heavyweights about to show down Erhan Deniz and Daniel Gita. Erhan Deniz, the pit bull attack. He raises pit bulls, one of his hobbies. And who is married to the Turkish martial arts star Nurhiyat Hitsiyat Maza, known as the Xena Warrior Princess of Turkey. Lovely guy outside the ring, real nice fella, Erhan Deniz. The 25 year old, a record of 18 and 7, 12 knockouts, comes from a Taekwondo background. Taekwondo is massive in Turkey. Is the national martial art there. And their kickboxing scene has really taken off over in recent years. Some big fights in Antalya, Istanbul. Fighting out of the red corner, representing Romania. Please welcome Daniel Gita. Daniel Gita needs no introduction to kickboxing fans. You've watched him ply his trade in the K1 over the last two years. Became the first Romanian in history to make it to the final eight of the K1 World Grand Prix last year in 2010. And here he is tonight, main event for it, Showtime. The man who once served in the Romanian Secret Service, the SPP, from 2001 to 2008, protecting the Romanian president and possessor of some of the hardest leg kicks in all the world of combat sports. He's beaten the likes of Errol Zimmerman, Javad Potra, Sergei Karatanov, Freddy Kameo, Gregory Tony, Murat Buzidi, the list goes on and on. On his K1 debut, he fought in an eight-man tournament, almost set a K1 world record. It was one of the fastest tournament victories of all time, all first-round knockouts. Big unit, 194 centimetres, 111 kilos, 38, 8 and 1, 28 knockouts. Anil Duba, Kamakura Jim from The Hague in the Netherlands, in the corner of the Savage Samurai, Ladies Daniel Gita. This fight will be three rounds for three minutes according to the Showtime rules. And the referee of this match will be Mr. Joop Ubeda. And this Frank, fight this is, is a sponsored huge step by up our here Showtime for Erhan a opportunity for the young Turk to show the watching world that he is ready to take on the likes of Gokhan Saki, Daniel Gita, Bada Hari, Semi Schult, the top echelon names. We're going to find out here in the first, you know, round, round and a half, because honestly, if you allow Gita to get his leg kick started, then it's going to be a problem. You have to stall him right away. Don't let him get to your legs. If he gets in there a couple of times, it's going to end no your leg quickly. No back fist, no spinning back fist, no elbows. No holding. Off the main, come on, break, or stop, stop. Okay. This okay. is going to be something special. Gita towers over Deniz, not only in physical stature, but with experience. But Urhan Deniz, the pit bull attack, has massive heart. The voice, Michael Chavello, Frank Trigg with you on HDNet. It's Showtime 50 from Poland, our main event. How long will it take Gita to throw the first leg kick? It's Deniz who comes out kicking. Gita's been working on his boxing a lot more lately. 15 seconds in, he still hasn't gone to the legs. Deniz on the outside. He's got to get in close, got to bang to the body, then get out of range of Gita. Gita's first leg kick there comes at the 30 second mark. Just a monster, Daniel Gita. Also a hell of a nice guy outside of the ring. Great sense of humor about him. There's his second leg kick. 
He'll go to town on that lead five, Denise. There's the third. If Denise doesn't check these kicks, it'll only be a matter of time. Four. Five. Often, Frank, it's bad for a commentator to preempt something because usually the opposite happens. But when it's Daniel Keita fighting, to not preempt and end by a leg kicks, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, he's he's one of the few guys that actually will end fights and get knockouts and, and TKOs just from leg kicking. You're never really hitting you in the head or the body, but you can't walk anymore, and it causes so much damage to the upper portion of your leg that there's nothing you can do about it. I did a promo with him two years ago in Tokyo during the K1 where he threw a leg kick to my left thigh just to like 3%, and it hurt for five days, Frank. It was crazy. His shins are so sharp. I was at the way the Gita, if you turn your back to him a little bit, he also kicks you right underneath your butt cheek, and he kicks you right in the ass. Well, it sounds funny at home, getting kicked in the ass, but all of a sudden, if you can't use that that gluteus maximus muscle to walk, to step, to, to move forward, you can't punch, you can't kick, you can't knee, you're stuck. So it's a perfect way to slow that down, is catch him right behind that. You know, if he turns his back to you a little bit, catch him right in that butt cheek. Just a size difference here. Gita continually pounding away at that lead thigh. Then he goes to the back leg. And he's trying for some leg attacks of his own, but they pale in comparison to get his power at the moment. I feel a better game plan for Urhan Deniz to get on the inside, go to the body, go to the jaw, then move out and reset himself. He yeah. cannot afford to stay here and play a leg kicking game with Pizza. And that's right now is what he's trying to do. Look looked like he got a little head Head clash? Yes. On his teeth. Because the size difference for Ricardo. Peter, who began martial arts career in June. Played Seven. soccer also in his youth before switching to kickboxing. What's the referee did not think it was from an accidental head clash. And Gita going to town again on that lead leg. Yeah, let's check that one. You know, if this round ends without a knockdown by, by Gita, then, okay, well, now technically we could go to Denise now, 8-10-8. Like yeah, we have a 10-8 round yeah. for Denise. Yeah. And, and even though that, that Gita was winning the round and pushing the pace, he ends up losing it because he gets a standing eight count because he put his hand on the ground. Well, that will do nothing but infuriate Daniel Gita. I I'm sorry, Michael. This, this rough confuses me. Earlier yeah. tonight, we had a, a legit clear double knockdown, a legit clear knockdown. They called them, wiped them both off. You have a legit space where a guy gets headbutted in the mouth because he put his fist on the ground, it's, yeah, he it, calls it a knockdown, he's a standing eight count. It's he, poor it, refereeing. He gets, he walked right in with his head first, I man, I don't... Poor refereeing. There's the head bat. you can see it there. Denise's head comes up, tucks under the nose. Poor refereeing. You can even see the the, uh, the red mark there on Denise's eyebrow from where the head connected. It's very confusing. I'm, I just don't understand uh, this ref's consistency with how he calls these fights. I mean, if you're going to be bad one way, then just be bad that way. Like, never call a knockdown, never call. But then to change your mind on the same night. Agree. The different Round fight two. makes no Quite. sense to me. Totally agree. Round two. Second round, and Gita goes to town on that lead leg immediately. There's two leg kicks already inside of five seconds. Three and six now. Four in 12. Look at the speed Five of this. Five in head. 14, Frank. He's Jeez. just racking them up. Look at that. Six in 18 oh. seconds. And now Dennis is on rubber legs. And look at him. He knows. He realizes he can keep going to the outside. He keeps going to the inside as well. He keeps softening up on both sides. He's going after it. And look how quick his lead hand is. He goes jab the body right to the outside leg kick. It's completely confusing Denise. He doesn't know which way to go now. Seven kicks. Eight kicks Seven. now inside of 40 seconds of the lead leg. Stop. Nine inside of 42 seconds. Teniz could be right for the picking. This is what Stop. I spoke about earlier on. Right on the accuracy, the power, the aggression, the right leg round kick the of Daniel Gita. You sit down. Uh, you stay not here. The yellow card, card the for corner. The for you. You stay down. Wow. Yellow card at the corner. Okay. For who's who's? Because he's keep he, he's keep standing on, up. Fight. He wants to sit down. Official warning really? for blue corner for coach not listening to the referee. Oh, wow. this is. This is amazing. Odd. Odd indeed. Wow. And Gita just going to town. Jeez, Gita's just getting inside now. He's starting to soften everything up. There's no place for Denise to go. He's got to get off the ropes. There's no He's... game plan here for Denise now, Frank. It's just a matter of survival, I feel. Now, to be honest with you, Mike, I think his game plan is to try to go with leg kick for leg kick. And this is the, stup the stupidest thing to do against yeah. a guy like this. Yeah. Because no matter how good your leg kicks have gotten no, over the last 18 months Fight. or a year, they're not as good as his. 
Gita's leg kicks are just too strong. Now, Gita going to his hands here, where I think he could have finished the fight with further leg kicks, but he's showing a bit of the boxing skills he's been working on more lately. Has to be careful. This is where a lot of fighters let their ego get the better of them, Frank. They learn a new technique or they hone a specific technique and they go to it too much instead of relying on the old faithful like the leg kicks. 100%. Even, even I was you know, susceptible to that same mindset. You know, you get something new, you want to learn and show your coaches, hey, you've taught, you've taught me very well. Look, I can use it in a fight now. But stick with what you know the best. It could be this, kicking that leg out and just smashing it apart. I think Gita could have finished this fight or at least gotten one or two knockdowns off leg kicks already if he continued to check uh, to kick that lead leg. It's wide open. The foot's flat of Denise, but Gita seemingly wants to finish him with his hand. And Denise is not checking that leg kick, even when he throws it, so it's, you know, you could just, you could double, double up or triple up on that same kick. You see, again, it's wide open for the leg kicks here, but Gita's not doing it, and he's gonna finish him by hand. First knockdown of the fight. Stop, Comes by the hands and it's just over. Hey, He's cutting two. Just looking, just looking. Oh. Wow. oh, something's happened here. Just lucky. Just lucky. Over. Wow, said he's just lucky because that looks like one of the one of the head kicks split his head wide open. Just in the back. lucky from what though? End of the fight. Lucky from what? Erhan Denise, as much as I love the guy, was not going to do anything, Frank. No, he's not going to do anything. He was getting beat up at this point. He's, you know, he's getting completely overwhelmed. Talking about that Gerhard's lucky. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Let's have a look here. Backs him against the ropes. Now, is it a head clash there? It's a head clash that cut him. It's a head clash that cut her hand in his. Now, did he drop from the head clash or drop from the body look, shot? There's a body shot. Oh, no. That's, no, that's the okay. kick. That kick the kick cut on the top of the head. So, but he dropped right. from the body shot. He dropped from the liver shot. Liver shot and the kick glanced on top of the head, which is perfectly legal because yep. he wasn't down. Totally fine. Interesting indeed. Talking about he's lucky. No, no it's not lucky indeed. A liver shot lucky. bent him in half, yeah. and the head kick cut him open. And yeah. that was Daniel Gita not throwing any leg kicks. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Erhard's lucky that Daniel didn't throw the leg kicks. Admittedly, that's what I was going to say, Michael, that he's much better. He was, should be much happier that he didn't get a bunch of leg kicks thrown at him. Let's have a look again here, Frank. Steps into his body shot. There's a head clash. Did the, did the kick... Connect though? I think it was the head clash. Yeah, you'll see on this side, you can see, you look at his head. Look at the side of his head, you see there's no mark. You see the body blow, now watch. And there's the mark. So that's where the mark that's, pops open. That's a hard one to call, a yeah. hard one to see. Who can, I mean, he, either way, either way, he got 